All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here at uh, Living Real Salty. Bait and tackle, this is where I got my live bait this morning. Actually, not this morning, it's like an afternoon already. We're already like 11 o'clock. Uh, today, primary target is trout. Catch a few scattered reds drum because uh, we got some live bait there. Um, you know, never really know. Um, this is what we're using today. Going with Texas Rattler pair with a uh, chicken boy lure. And then uh, another, oh, come on. Then we got our Abu here with the uh, Texas Rattler jig head paired with the AM lure. And then for our live bait, I went ahead and rigged that up real quick, float. Uh, you can see this rod right here is an eight foot rod. That floats about rigged up about halfway. You can see the hook right there. It's about halfway there. I got about a four foot drop on it. You're probably wondering, Matt, why do you put four foot drop on your leader? Um, we're gonna be fishing for about three foot of water. But here's the thing, okay? I know a lot of guys like to go out there and you put two foot of line on there. It's fine, you know, they work. But this is what I believe personally. Anytime you're throwing a float, the longer you leave it, right? Gives that bait more chance to move around. He swims around, then when you pop it, he has a bigger jerk on it, right? And uh, of course, the more play there is, better the bite, better the action, just because it looks more lively, all right? Uh, you kind of want to let that, fit, that shrimp or mullet or whatever you're using perch do its thing. That's the trick to get you fish with live bait. But anyways, I don't want to sit here and talk too much. I want to go out there and show you guys how it's done, all right? So uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, like I said, I'm going for trout, red, strum, whatever hits that live bait. It's, of course, we're using artificial. Uh, it's pretty light winds out there, so probably be doing a little bit of drifting and uh anchoring down but anyways we're gonna get to it already all right well i made it to my spot uh i'm gonna go ahead and start off with this float first we're gonna see what what that does find out just more or less uh, what the bite's looking like I'm probably just gonna drift the shoreline. It's really no wind at all. It's like a perfect calm day for this. Out. I'm going to throw a lure at the same time. That's what you'll do. Let it go. Something small hit it. I'm gonna anchor up.
typically out in the back bay where I fish, it's a reef area and once you're in a reef area, you know, it's pretty much, you know, you find them, typically stay in that little area. Oh yeah! Come here! Oh, yeah! That's what's up! Yeah, that's what's up, man! Dude, they want it fast! These trout, they ain't playing around today. They just... You know what I'm saying? They want a little bit of reeling action there. I'm really not even bouncing off the bottom. That's straight drop water action right there. See, the thing about a back bay trout is, see how my hand is on that thing there? It's nice and meaty. You know, he's got that, that little fat to him. Every bit of 18 inches right there. He will be dinner. Tell. It's hard to tell how big these fish are, man. I got the, these castaway reels or rods, I mean. Or, uh, look at that hook set there. Right in there. Not, that was a close one. Uh, ow, shoot. These castaway rods have a lot of action. Great rods, but when it comes to hooking a fish, every fish feels like it's five pounds when it's really just, you know, a lot of three pound fish or even smaller. He's another stringer upper. I just today I bought live bait mainly because I just want to try it out really. You know, look at that. Look, watch, watch, you see what the shrimp does? Look at that. Check it out. You'll see my just kind of pops back. That's in the trout when that fish see it. He goes nuts.
Oh yeah. Good. Come here. No. Barely hooked. Don't shake it. Got him. That was up, man. Gotta get him figured out. Oh yeah, you big freaking fish, I knew I'd get you, <laughs> oh my gosh dude, come here, come here, freaking big ugly, dude this is the end of a kayak trip, Dude, he's got a lot of freaking power. Yes, thank you, thank you. Come on, come on. Oh. Freaking massive. Dude, I'm just like good at this, I guess, man. Oh, 
That was my trap for the day, but check this out, man. <laughs> Got him. Oh yeah! Hell yeah! That's just freaking awesome, man. I got ya! He got it. Oh my gosh, what a way to end the freaking video, right? Like, I'm totally done fishing, packed all the way up. And, uh, you know, when I was paddling up here, I saw a big old tail out there. I'm like, I knew it's not a red. I knew I knew it was a black drum. And uh, I just threw a float out there. Had about 15, 20 foot from the dock. I come out here and uh, started loading up. And as, as I'm loading up, I'm standing on top of the dock. I see the drum right by the dock. So I get my float and I'm reeling in slowly. I put the bait right in front of him. You see that drum just go boom right at it. And like, dude, he's on. He hooked up. And then I was like, I have a GoPro. So I, put, I ran with a drag loose, put the rod in the kayak, ran to my truck, got the GoPro. Just so I can go and close this video out. And uh, had, had, had to show y'all that big drum. Dude, that was just freaking, that's amazing. I didn't, I didn't even measure him out, but I had to guess. He bought 37, 36 inches. Uh, I didn't want to spend too much time on it because it's just hard to release them. But uh, you saw it. You saw some good fight there. Safely released. And uh, that is it, guys. I don't want to make this video any longer than it should be. But uh, you guys see it right here. Trout limit of the day. And uh, I'm done, man. I'm freaking done. That, that, that's a good day there. Five, five trout and an oversized drum to close it off. You know, you can't get any better than that. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys are interested in any t-shirts, uh, hoodies, shirts, uh, caps, um, check out our website, okay? We'll type it out on the screen. It's uh, www.mattsfishingadventures.com, okay? Uh, look it up. Search us on Google. Just type in Mass Fish Mentions on Google. You'll find all our social media and everything like that. Um, let me know. We ship worldwide, all right? Other than that, guys, that's how we're going to wrap it up, okay? Appreciate you guys watching the video to the end. And uh, until next time. All right, we'll see you all later.